Hey YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Pigs. So today I'm gonna to be doing my PTMG analysis on Bitcoins. This coin is super popular among some communities and actually means a lot to me. This is the coin that I've made the most profit in out of all coins. So I'm actually super excited to do this and actually finally jumped in and do some actual research. I hope that you're excited and let's get started. So first, of course, let me tell you what my PTMG stands for. First is the problems I solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, the team, how they're doing marketing, the market cap, and the short slash long-term goals, which I follow it with a, pretty much a summary of what I think of the coin. And as I said earlier, we're gonna talk about Bitcoins or BQX. So what problems are Bitcoins solving? The Bitcoins platform is designed to tackle specific problems in the world of cryptocurrency. They list choosing between an ever-growing array of cryptocurrencies understanding attributes across different crypto assets, one-click diversification onto multiple crypto assets, a safe and secure mobile wallet that handles multiple keys, and being able to easily transfer value across digital assets. This is what they say the problem is that they're addressing in their white paper specifically. So to summarize it, for the cryptocurrency industry to go mainstream, it will have to become more user-friendly and enable a safe and secure way to invest in cryptocurrencies and altcoins. So some more on their project idea. This one's actually three slides. So Bitcoin's vision is to make purchasing cryptocurrencies and digital assets as easy and safe as possible. They want to leverage a community to reward experts for assisting in the education of newcomers, launch a variety of diverse cryptocurrency investment baskets, making it simple and painless to buy in with crypto and fiat currencies, enable a universal mobile Bitcoin wallet to provide a safe and secure way to buy, trade, and hold a variety of cryptocurrencies, create a Bitcoin token to pay for platform services while generating liquidity for the entire network, and eventually integrate Bitcoins into an existing crypto and fiat system to create a powerful all-in-one portal to the new economy. This this last part is pretty much their final milestone on their roadmap. So it's gonna to be tough because there's a lot of regulations. It's a very ambitious project. And finally, the Bitcoin platform has three main components. I know this is the last slide for Project Idea. I usually don't do this much, but there's just so much going on. I wanna make sure you guys get the whole gist of their project. First is the Bitcoin's universal wallet. This allows users to quickly and easily interact with their coins, view, send, and receive balances of any supported cryptocurrency. The wallet is decentralized, so consumers have complete control over their encrypted private keys. The Bitcoin's wallet's operated pretty much like a password vault, making key management super easy. Next is the Bitcoin settlement layer. BSL for short is a settlement engine that handles trades for one-click diversification. You can buy and sell orders, which will be put into a pool and executed every hour to lower transaction fees. Then finally, social and community. Their platform will also be a social platform for users to share expertise and get rewarded for helping new users. Bitcoin's predictions allows users to guess the future movement of cryptocurrencies while generating reputation as trusted and experienced members of the Bitcoin's community. Members will be able to advertise portfolios and get users to follow them and gain access to their trades and shared content. Followers will have to pay a Bitcoin or a BQX fee, which will go towards rewarding the users who are being followed. Now their potential for generating revenue, the Bitcoin's token will be used to pay for transaction fee and API calls. And they say that the potential future use of the Bitcoin's token may be to send value, which they compare it to PayPal. Also, the, the token is used for a payment mechanism for accessing and using services on the platform and enabling liquidity to help with changes in user asset allocations. There's a little picture here kind of talking about the prediction market that they, that they have. This is on their website if you want to get a little a better look at it. 
Now for one of the most important parts of my analysis is the team. This team is a little different than normal. They don't have like a, a team and advisor section. I, I did find out that Maurice, who I have as a star, is kind of an advisor and he actually works on the team also. So he's kind of a, a dual, dual member, I guess you could say. So first, as I said, Maurice, he's their star and he's getting his star for his schooling. He has a bachelor's in mathematics from Harvard and a PhD in computer science from MIT and is now a professor at Brown. I'm assuming he is Shingo's professor. It's kind of how he got into this. So I'm giving him a star because he's obviously a smart dude. You just look at his background and it's pretty unbelievable. Then we get to the first superstar of the team, which is Steven. He was vice president, chief administration officer, and head of corporate operations at Bank of America, which is a huge company. We all know Bank of America, so that is great experience. He was also chief operating officer at BlackRock for three years. So definitely the superstar of the team with great experience, be able to push them over the edge. If they have any issues, he should be there. Then they have a super exciting announcement today. They have a new team member, Tim, which I noted to be a superstar, which excites me because before I only had one, as you can see. He has five years as a senior software engineer, two years as a lead software architect, and five years as a product marketing and strategy at Citric Systems. So it's pretty exciting to see that Bitcoins was able to bring a new member who has the skills and experience to help them succeed. And also an interesting note, majority of these team members worked for or have worked at Fun Mobility. I'm not sure what that is, but it means that they might have some chemistry, which is always a good thing in my opinion. So now with their marketing, this is probably another one of the most exciting aspects of Bitcoins. Their telegram is super active, big community of over 3000 members, and it's the best way to quickly reach the team. I know Shingo's there. I believe Steven is also there. You can ask questions and it's super exciting to be able to interact with the team directly. Next is their Twitter, which is super active. They frequently post announcements and updates. As you can see, they posted three hours ago. They announced their new member today, which I just talked about. And they kind of just are updating periodically and all the time, which is awesome to see. Their Facebook is similar to Twitter, post announcements and updates. Their Medium is not very active. It was active back in June. I think that's more of the ICO time. Their YouTube was super active, but their last video was about two weeks ago. So they're kind of slacking on that. Not a big deal. The exciting thing for this team is that they are super active with the community, which is always a great thing. I'm always hearing updates from actual people inside my group, which is awesome just because we're always getting new information from them. Possible comp competition. We have invest feed and in, in cost. I know some people might disagree with me on this, but just because of the social media platform and the way that they're kind of doing their thing, I, I kind of saw them as competition. They might not be a big competition in terms of directly competing, but they're still kind of in the same space in some aspects at least. And then Aido is their biggest competitor. And I recently just learned about them today this one's pretty interesting. They seem to be super similar to Bitcoins. And I want to know if you guys are interested in a BQX versus EIDO. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Basically a, a versus video. Let me know in the comments if you do. If so, I will totally do one. I think that'd be kind of exciting. So Bitcoins is market cap. Right now they're sitting at 49 million. They have 71.6 million circulating supply, 222 million total supply. They're currently sitting around 68 cents, uh, 11,000 sats. My personal jump in point is 50 cents or like 10,000 sats, whichever one comes first. Bitcoin is on Binance, Hit, BTC, and Coin Exchange. I personally first bought it from Coin Exchange, but I'm transferring all mine to Binance and plan on buying from Binance from now on because I am not a fan of Coin Exchange at all. And now for the short and long-term goals, this one's actually fairly smaller than most of the other analysis I do. The, the roadmap is super vague and I found this in their white paper. If you know any more detail than what I'm showing here, please let me know. I would love to find out. So first we got the 
Bitcoin's released one, which they call Amber. It's the predictions and social. The release is limited to Bitcoin's product council and selected members of the community and includes Bitcoin's predictions, which generates value data and intelligence on markets and social features, which help many new users interface with experts. Next is the release two, which they call Onyx. It's the universal wallet. It's the first iteration of the decentralized wallet along with the companion mobile application to manage all your funds in one place. The release is open to Bitcoin's token holders. So Bitcoin's release three is the Alex Anright one-click diversification. This includes one-click diversification, the Bitcoin settlement layer, and users can diversify their funds on top of the wallet architecture. And then the Bitcoin's release four is Palladium or the Fiat integration. It's after legal and regulatory hurdles are met, we will ensure the platform is highly secure before allowing any Fiat in or out. They just want to make sure that nothing happens to your money. So to summarize Bitcoin's, they sound like an amazing project. They're tackling a much needed problem in the crypto space. I want them to succeed for the future of this market to make mass adoption much more easier and quicker. I love this coin and I'm in a community that is super hyped for this coin and they love it. And I've actually never seen any community more hyped about this coin than any other coin, especially when it went from five cents to about a dollar twenty. The community was blowing up. Lambos, oh my, what are we gonna do with all our money, etc. It was crazy. But if Bitcoin is able to follow through with their roadmap and be successful, then the potential is off the charts. I do plan on adding more Bitcoins to my portfolio if, if it drops below 50 cents or 10,000 sats, as I said. Let me know what you think about this coin. Do your research and invest wisely. Well, that's my PTMG analysis of Bitcoins. Again, I love this coin, and I know a lot of you do also. I hope you loved my analysis. Again, if you want to see a Bitcoins versus EODU video, let me know in the comments. If I can get enough people interested, I will definitely do it as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in. Click the like and subscribe button right there. I'll see you next time.